Hey everyone, so I'm excited because I went to the antique mall. I've already gone twice and I'm like officially addicted. Um, I got so many good things that I want to show y'all. Um, I'm going to show y'all the ones from last visit and then I'll show from this, fr no, from the first visit and then I'll show from the last visit. So they, it comes like, basically they put it in this packaging or whatever, but these pictures that I found, I basically wrote, um, what day I bought them and stuff just for like keepsakes and I don't know why, but like these pictures, I feel so bad because it's like... Why aren't they in a photo album? I don't know, but I was drawn to these pictures. I'm normally drawn to items like beauty, uh, sewing, makeup, um, what else? Vintage, you know, like beauty products, earrings especially. Like, put it all into one and it, it just makes me happy. So these are pictures that I found that I was just automatically drawn to. So, these right here, I'm going to show, are at like a family picnic or something. I don't know, but look at that. It's like a couple, and then the woman with her daughter, what I'm assuming is her daughter. And then two other friends that are at the picnic. See, and I'm guessing that this is like in the 40s. I'm guessing, I don't know, but I love pictures like this. I was just drawn to them. So here's another one, and it says, Miss, Mrs. Shade, Mike, and I, it says on the back. I like when they say things where, you know, like where their names show. Here's another one, I guess, where they're like just hanging out. And here's a mother taking her son to school. This one, I love this one. It's a newborn baby. It looks like he was just born. I'm assuming it's a boy. But it looks like the baby was just born. And then this one, it says, December 25th of 1946. To the Coswells from Ava, Ranger, and Glenn, Sido. And it says in Arkansas. So there's that one, a beautiful family. And then here is uh, two children having a picnic. Here, I'm assuming this is a family or friends together. And then, I'm guessing that this is maybe in the 50s or the 60s. I'm not sure. Oops, there you go. But these are all friends together. The description on this one said friends together. So, yep. So, I feel bad. Sometimes I'm like, why aren't these, you know, put up or whatever. But it makes me daydream about who these people were and what they were like. And they're, you know... All the stuff that they did. Because during that time, it was like... It's like when you see movies and read books and stuff. It's like the love that everyone had for each other. It's gone. Now. Like, people don't love each other like they did back, you know, in the past. And people don't respect each other that way either. You know, you see couples that got together during this time. You know, like, I mean... Couples like this, you know, like in the 40s, they're together like until they die and you don't see that anymore. People now, they're like so, they're, they get married and then they're so ready to divorce each other and stuff, you know, so I think that that's true love, you know, when they, when they try to make it work. Okay, so then, um, in this same booth where I got all these pictures, this, this person had like sewing needles and buttons and all kinds of stuff for sewing so I picked up these needles I only paid like a dollar twenty five for these and they all come in a protective sleeve look at how cool this is like seriously I wanna go back and get some more as soon as I get some more money because this shopping trip left me broke <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So then I think that this is my favorite, one of my favorite finds from this, um, from this little haul that I did were these earrings, these vintage earrings. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness. Like seriously, they're so beautiful. 
They're heavy. I put one on and it like yanks my ear down. <laughs> you know, they're heavy, but they're so pretty. Look, they're pretty. So, and I only paid $5 for them, which is not bad for a vintage um, earrings. Because like now you would find them... Like, modern earrings, like a normal pair of modern earrings will run you from, like, $5 to maybe, like, $15, you know, um, like, costume jewelry. Normally, that's what it'll run you for or whatever. I mean, I normally, I find my earrings for, like, $3 or whatever, but, yeah. So, I found those. And then the last thing, oh, my goodness. Okay, I, I was already going to leave because my son, I was like, okay, it's 3 and my son gets home at 3.30 and it takes me like 20 minutes to get home. So I was rushing to pay and then I stopped on the way over there and I found this. Oh my goodness. This was priced for $6 and I didn't realize, I was expecting to pay $6 for this and I got up to the cashiers and she was like, oh this booth has everything for 50% off. I only paid $3 for this. It's this, look, it's a vintage um, brush, a brush, a hair brush. Look at how beautiful that is. Now I noticed that the inside, it's like has discoloration and here it's like really tarnished, you know. And part of me wants to take it apart and clean it. And then the other part wants to leave it exactly the way it is. Just because it's so beautiful. And But like the bristles are so strong. And I don't know. I could totally see myself owning one of these. Um, for like, I don't know, living back then and owning stuff like this. It's like, yay! <laughs> I don't know, it makes me so happy. But yeah, like everything is so, it's all durable, you know? And I think that's why it's lasted so long. See, you can totally tell that it's tarnished, but that's okay. Yeah, so I am excited about all of my finds. And the pictures, I'm going to put in my photo album and keep them forever. So yeah, that was my my um antique mall haul finds treasures i don't know but i man you know what i'm gonna tell you something i d i didn't believe in like reincarnation or something but i feel i feel like maybe i don't know i know too i know too much about this time period like the like the i would say like the 30s to the 60s i'm way too attracted to it and i feel like when I talk about these pictures, I don't say, you know, I, I, I talk about it like if I lived it or something. And it's kind of weird to me and I noticed that, you know, but I think that this is, I don't know, these are like treasures and I'm going to keep them. Even though I don't know the people, but it just, it makes me daydream. So yeah, alright, well thank you for watching my video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos out whenever I have a chance like this that my kids are asleep. It, like, it makes me so excited. So I think I might clean too while they're not being little Tasmanian devils and destroying everything. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Bye.